question 21 leads write the three inequalities that define the unshaded region R. So again there is a question on inequalities. There are only two things that you need to bear in mind. You need to look at the line. Is it a solid line or is it a dotted line or blocking line? If it's a blocking line you use either strictly greater than or strictly less than. If it's a solid line, which is a blocking line, you're using greater or equal or less or equal. Once you know that, then the other things becomes straightforward. It's just a matter of you substituting. So let us start with the easiest. The question is asking us to find the three inequalities. The inequalities that defines this area. This area is what we are looking for. So the first one we look for horizontal or vertical line. When we have an horizontal line, which is in this case this one. Now this line is a solid line. Then it's passing through six. So at this point we have zero comma six. So meaning the line along that line is y is equal to 6. So along this line, the value of y means 6 is not changing. And because it's a horizontal line, the gradient is equal to 0, meaning y is equal to m times x plus c becomes y is equal to 0 times x plus 6. So that's why y is equal to 6. That's it, the straight line. So now, having found the straight line, the next thing that we need to do is use inequality to see where do we want because the short line is a single jo joint points you join the points on the given line but you want a region so in this case we're interested in the region below this line so meaning y is less than 6 because they are going to have 3 something like that y is less than 6 now because this region includes the line itself. We are going to say y is less or equal to 6. That's the first inequality. Start with the simplest which is for horizontal or vertical line. So y is less or equal to 6. Then out of this 5 you would have gotten 1 mark. The simplest always gets 1 mark. Then we go to the second inequality. So second inequality you can pick anything then I can start with it. the other one which is slightly easier which is the blocking line which is passing through the origin so it's passing through the origin it means the y-intercept in this equation this c-intercept is 0 because it's passing through the origin so meaning c is equal to 0 then what we need to do is just find the gradient find the gradient when once we find the gradient then we know the area that we're interested in first step find the, the straight line passing through these points so to find the, the equation since we know that c is equal to zero we need to find the gradient so m so this is in equal to m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so we'll call this one to be x1 then y1 then this one will be x2, then y2. So this will be, it's the same as calling this one b, then this one is m. So what is y2? So y2 is 6, 6 minus m. What is y1? 2 over x2 is 6 minus 2 again. So we're going to end up with 4 over 4, which gives us 1. So meaning the gradient is 1. So this equation becomes y is equal to 1 times x which is x. So that's what it becomes. So it's just a straight line with a gradient of 1. Meaning if x increases by 2, y also increases by 2. If x increases by 5, y also increases by 5. That's what this tells us. Now what are we looking for? We are looking for the region above and these lines, these points on the line are not part of the solution. So meaning is it strictly greater or less. That's what the dotted line means. 
So for last two, know which region is correct. We use this. So we are going to use the box to decide what should we put there. Are we putting greater or are we putting less? So I need to put to pick a a point any point within the the desired region which is unshaded region here so one of the point if this is 2 comma 2 one of the point could be 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 that would be one of the points then I need to substitute here so in this case this is X then this is Y then I come here I'll put Y is a 4 then X is a 2 which sign is correct here of course, 4 is greater than 2, so we're using that one. So always what is key is pick the point within the unshaded region, the desired region. That's what you pick. So given that, then we know that the sign should be here is greater. So meaning, Y is strictly greater than X. So these are place orders to help us determine the exact sign to put there. Once you do that, we have the second inequality. Okay, so in the similar way, let us find for equation number three. So for number three, we use the same principle that we used in the in the previous one. So the first thing is we find the intercept. So intercept we can know from here that because this is 0, 0,6 meaning when x is equal to 6 the value of c will be 6 so without even wasting much of time I know that c is equal to 6 based on that principle if if you are not so sure in this equation you can follow the normal steps so the first step now is let us find the gradient the gradient is given by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let us come here we shall call this one the same way x1 and y1 then we shall call this one x2 and y2 so I know y2 is 6 so I come here so it will be m is equal to y2 is 6 minus what is y1 y1 is 2 so it will be 2 over then I have what is x2 0 then x1 is 2 so we're going to have 0 minus 2 so m is equal to 4 divided by negative 2 so m is equal to negative 2 so now I know what m is and if I knew already what c is if you're confident enough you just put 6 there then everything is done but if you're not confident you just come pick one of these coordinates this one or this one I would rather you go with the one which has got 0, it's much more easier, then substitute and solve for C. So, you say, in this one, we have 0, 0,6 as a coordinate. So, you get this equation and substitute. What is M? So, we start with M minus 2, X plus C. Then, we know what X is and Y is. So, in this one, you substitute, so it will be 6 is equal to negative 2 multiplied by 0 which is this value then plus C so what you notice is 6 is equal to C that's why this one was coming from so if you're confident you don't need to do this because you are just repeating the same process then after this we have the equation now y is equal to negative 2x plus 6 now this is a line so one the region so this is this line one the region so the region I'm interested in is this region in this side. So it's better you go with the same decimal, the same coordinate, which is 2, 4. So the same way we did with the previous one, you say, okay, in this box, you put a box. Then if I pick this coordinate, 2, 4, so meaning this is y, then this is x, and substitute in this equation. What y get, that's what we're looking for. So let us substitute. So it will be 4 which is y, then a box, then it will be negative 2 times 2, then plus uh, 6. So I'm going to get 4, then box, 
then negative 2 times negative negative 2 times positive 2 you see negative 4 then plus 6 it will be 2 so which one is true here the truth is 4 is greater than 2 4 is greater than 2 so since again that's the case what do we do we put uh, that sign but now let us look at is this a solid this is a solid line so because it's a solid line then we are going to include the greater or equal to so meaning now at this point we are replacing with greater or equal to so it will be greater or equal to meaning y is greater or equal to minus 2x plus 6 